first of all, what that presentation uh, meant to you. Well, I must say, it didn't mean anything to me until I got there, because, you know, it's just some idea somebody had, and, you know, it's only been two or three years. It didn't really mean that much to me, but somebody said, you know, it mightn't seem like much now, but it is history, and you'll enjoy it. So I went along, and I was glad I went, had a great night after everybody settled down. It was a bit hectic. And... Uh, it was fantastic just to see all those people and little Richard and, you know, all the guys that really enjoyed it. But now as I've got my little statue that says the Beatles Hall of Fame and I'm sure as it goes more into the future, you know, it's going to be something which I'm glad, certainly glad I didn't miss it. Are you saddened that Paul McCartney wasn't able to appear? Uh, for him, I'm, uh, it's a pity he missed it because he would have had a good time. You know, and it was nice to see people saying, well, after all that we've done, you know, that's all it was, really, get the lads here, give them a pat on the back and give them the medal. And it's a shame he missed it because he contributed so much to it, but it didn't spoil our night. We still had fun without him. Have you been able to have any reconciliation with, with Paul since that particular event? Oh, he's okay, yeah. He's okay. He just was trying to use that situation for some personal motive that he had, and it just didn't work. But, you know, we're long past all the squabbles now. How did you feel when you heard the McCartney versions of the old songs on uh, Broad Street? I think they were okay. I didn't notice that they were new versions. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I only watched it once. I quite liked it, but I don't, I don't really... I remember dancing, all that one about ballroom dancing and stuff. I don't remember the old ones. He said that he wanted to tackle some of the other old songs, including possibly some of John Lennon's songs, like uh, Beautiful Boy and Imagine. Does that surprise you that he would do that? Paul? Yeah. Maybe because he ran out of good ones of his own. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we've got that on record. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. For the last few years, I've said my mind to him, you know, just whenever I felt something like, you know, Thing like Broad Street I thought was a big mistake not to make the film because I quite enjoyed it myself but the idea of trying to write and do everything yourself that's the mistake Paul had asked you know and had suggested maybe the chance of me and he writing together something and uh, I mean it's pretty funny really because I mean I've only been there about 30 years in Paul's life and it's like now he wants to write with me but I think it's maybe quite interesting sometime to do that